Hi, my name is Jeremiah Fasano. I work at the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition at the United States Food and Drug Administration. Later, you'll also hear from my colleague at FDA's Center for Veterinary Medicine. Hi, I'm Matthew Michael from the United States Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service, or FSIS. Today, we would like to take a few minutes to share a brief overview of the roles and responsibilities that FDA and FSIS will take in overseeing foods comprised of or containing cultured animal cells to ensure that they are safe and properly labeled. The information we'll be describing today is primarily drawn from the March 2019 formal agreement between FDA and USDA regarding oversight of human food produced using animal cell technology derived from cell lines of USDA amenable species. A link to this agreement is provided at the end of the presentation. The key points are that oversight will depend on what species the cells are from and whether they're being used for human or animal food. FDA and FSIS will divide responsibility for oversight of human foods incorporating cultured animal cells derived from livestock, such as cattle, swine, sheep, goats, and siluriform as fish, and poultry, chickens, turkeys, ducks, geese, guineas, ratites, and squab. FDA will provide oversight for human foods incorporating cultured animal cells derived from fish and seafood. And FDA will provide oversight for animal foods regardless of the source of animal cells. FDA's authority to regulate these products is derived from the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. The act gives FDA the responsibility to ensure that foods and food ingredients are safe and that they are labeled in ways that are truthful and not misleading. The act gives us many tools to support FDA's mission. One key tool is the concept of adulteration. If a food is adulterated under the act, it is illegal and subject to FDA enforcement action. There are many ways that a food can be adulterated. For example, a food is adulterated if it contains an unsafe food ingredient, or if it's made from conditions where it could become contaminated and render the food injurious to health. FSIS authority to regulate meat and poultry product safety and labeling is derived from the Federal Meat Inspection Act, or FMIA, and the Poultry Products Inspection Act, or PPIA. The FMIA and PPIA definitions of meat and poultry product adulteration and misbranding, that is false or misleading labeling, are very similar and in many cases identical to those in the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. FSIS statutory authorities differ from FDA's, however, in several ways that will be pertinent to the regulation of food products made from the cultured cells of livestock and poultry. First, the FMIA and PPIA direct FSIS to inspect the production of all meat and poultry products during slaughter and processing. Second, the FMIA and PPIA require USDA to pre-approve meat and poultry labels. And third, the FMIA and PPIA require imported meat and poultry products to one, be produced under foreign inspection systems that achieve an equivalent level of safety as is achieved by the US inspection system, and two, be reinspected prior to their entry into the United States. All these statutory requirements will apply to food products that incorporate cultured cells from livestock and poultry, except obviously for slaughter inspection. FDA implements its statutory responsibilities for cultured animal cell food and feed products using four key processes. The first is to conduct pre-market consultations with individual firms on their production processes and products. This applies to cells from all species intended for human food use. The second is to conduct oversight of post-market activities related to cell culture, including collection, banking, and culture of cells. This includes working with FSIS as we hand off oversight during the harvest stage for livestock and poultry cells. Of course, FDA will be working closely with FSIS and will share information from these processes as appropriate to facilitate FSIS roles and responsibilities. The third process is to conduct post-market oversight of food products comprised of or containing cultured fish or seafood cells during conventional food processing, packaging, and marketing. This includes labeling for these products. Finally, the fourth is to conduct pre-market and post-market oversight of feed products comprised of or containing cultured animal cells. Next, 
I'll talk about these three first processes in more detail. As described in the March 2019 formal agreement, FDA will be conducting pre-market consultations with individual firms. These consultations will include evaluation of the inputs to the cell culture process, including cell lines and other material used. The consultation will also evaluate the production process itself, including the material produced and the manufacturing controls put in place to ensure a safe and consistent product. For consultations involving livestock and poultry cell lines, FSIS will regulate the foods that are comprised of or containing these cells after cell harvest. FDA will therefore be engaging with FSIS during these consultations and will be sharing the results with FSIS. We encourage firms to begin consultations early in the product development phase rather than waiting until they are close to market entry. In addition to FDA's pre-market consultation responsibilities, the agency will be conducting post-market oversight of facilities and processes related to cell culture. The processes covered during this step include the collection of cells from animals and the development and maintenance of qualified cell banks. In general, we expect the commercial production of cultured animal cell products will rely on these cell banks, in which cells from the original animal collection will be screened, selected, and grown to make a pool of cells that can be split into many small samples, frozen, and stored for many years. Thus, cell bank processes and procedures will be an important point of oversight. FDA will also oversee the actual cell culture process, starting with a small sample of cells from the cell bank that are multiplied to large quantities and differentiated into appropriate cell types. Should we identify a need for regulations or guidance to facilitate oversight based on our experience, we will issue them. As will be discussed in more detail later, FDA intends to conduct inspections of facilities where these processes are taking place. FDA will work with FSIS to coordinate the transfer of oversight at the time of harvest for cultured livestock or poultry cells intended for human food use. This is an important step in which the cultured cells are removed from the controlled and sterile cell culture environment, are no longer maintained in a living state, and are subjected to conventional food processing methods. FDA will ensure that FSIS inspectors have the information generated during pre-market consultation and post-market pre-harvest oversight it's necessary to determine whether the harvested cellular material is eligible for the USDA market inspection. Of course, all the requirements that apply to any FDA regulated entity or facility will apply to the animal cell culture firms and facilities. These include facility registration requirements described in Section 415 of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, as well as current good manufacturing practice and preventive controls regulations, which are described in Title 21 of the Code of Federal Regulations, Part 117, and all requirements applicable to food ingredients, substances that become a component of food, or otherwise affect food characteristics. FDA has extensive guidance on all these requirements, including maintenance of facility and production records. The agency may also develop specific guidance or additional requirements for cell bank and cell culture facilities if we determine that they are needed. FDA will be conducting inspections and related oversight activities for all cell bank and cell culture facilities in accordance with the agency's current processes for domestic and foreign facilities. The agency will take enforcement action as needed to ensure that these facilities and their products, if applicable, comply with FDA laws and regulations. We expect that most facilities using livestock, poultry, or soliriformis cells will have both FDA-regulated cell culture processes as well as jointly regulated cell harvest processes and may also have FSIS regulated conventional food processing. In these cases, or in any case where FSIS regulated products are concerned, FDA inspectors will work together with FSIS inspectors to ensure that all foods entering the U.S. food supply are safe and appropriately labeled. As noted earlier, FDA will have full oversight from cell collection to marketing of finished foods for all foods comprised of or containing cultured fish or seafood cells. Note that FSIS has jurisdiction over soliriformis fish. In addition to all previously noted activities, oversight and enforcement, FDA will be overseeing post-market, post-harvest conventional processing, packaging, marketing, and labeling of these foods. All requirements and enforcement activities applicable to FDA regulated entities, facilities, and products apply to entities and facilities involved in post-harvest activities involving cultured animal cell foods derived from fish and seafood. As mentioned several times during this presentation, 
FDA will be working closely with FSIS on jointly regulated products to ensure that all products entering the U.S. marketplace are safe and appropriately labeled. We will share information with FSIS as appropriate. We will alert FSIS if we identify pre-harvest issues that could result in adulterated or misbranded products comprised of or containing cultured livestock or poultry cells. We will work with FSIS should any issues arise during the harvest process that could result in adulterated or misbranded products comprised of or containing cultured livestock or poultry cells. We will look to FSIS to address any post-harvest issues involving cultured livestock or poultry cells used for food. And of course, we will engage with and consult with FSIS on general issues related to safe production of cultured animal cells to ensure that both agencies have the information they need for effective oversight and enforcement. So now I'll discuss FSIS roles and responsibilities in the oversight of food products that incorporate the cultured cells of livestock and poultry. FSIS will require inspection in all establishments that harvest and or process cultured livestock and poultry cells for use in human food to ensure that these products are safe, wholesome, and properly labeled. Although some FSIS inspection methods may be customized to address the unique aspects of cell culture technology, much of the FSIS inspection in cell cultured food establishments will be similar or identical to inspection in traditional meat and poultry processing establishments. Cell cultured food establishments under FSIS jurisdiction will have to obtain a grant of inspection and meet the same regulatory requirements that traditional meat and poultry processors have to meet, including sanitation requirements and requirements for the development and implementation of hazard analysis and critical control point plans, otherwise known as HACCP. Additionally, as with other meat and poultry product labels, the labels of products made from the cultured cells of livestock and poultry will require pre-approval by FSIS and the accuracy of those labels will be verified on site by FSIS inspectors. FSIS will coordinate with FDA on the transfer of regulatory jurisdiction at cell harvest and exchange information with FDA to ensure that cell cultured food operations are produce, producing safe products from cell production and harvesting through processing, packaging, and labeling. FSIS will take enforcement action as appropriate to ensure that only safe, wholesome, and properly labeled products enter commerce. Now I'll discuss each of these topics in detail. As I mentioned previously, each establishment that harvests and or processes cells from livestock or poultry is required by law to obtain a grant of inspection from FSIS. Requirements for a grant of inspection include development of sanitation standard operating procedures, or SOPs, completion of a hazard analysis and development and validation of a HACCP plan for each category of processing that it undertakes, and the development of written product recall procedures. Establishments apply for grants of inspection to the FSIS district office assigned to their locations. As part of the grant process, an establishment's official hours of operation will be determined and operations during these hours will be subject to inspection. FSIS inspectors will inspect at establishments that produce food made with the cultured cells of livestock or poultry at the same frequency they inspect other meat and poultry processing establishments, that is, at least once per operating shift. FSIS inspectors will verify compliance with all applicable regulatory requirements, including HACCP, sanitation, and other regulatory requirements. All products that are inspected and passed must carry the USDA mark of inspection, even if they are to be shipped to other establishments for further processing or packaging. As stated in the previous slide, each establishment that harvests and or processes cells from livestock or poultry is subject to inspection. FSIS and FDA will coordinate the transfer of regulatory oversight at cell harvest, both to ensure that information relevant to product safety is shared and to eliminate duplication of requirements on industry and duplication of work by the two agencies. Under the SMIA and PPIA, all meat and poultry product labels must be pre-approved by FSIS. This requirement will apply to products made with the cultured cells of livestock and poultry. FSIS inspectors will verify labeling accuracy during inspection. 
FSIS plans to develop regulatory requirements for the labeling of products made with the cells of livestock and poultry. These requirements will ensure that the labeling of these products is truthful and not misleading. As with all rulemaking, public comments will be solicited and considered in the development of labeling requirements for these products. FSIS and FDA are committed to developing joint principles for the labeling of food products made from the cultured cells of animals under their respective jurisdictions. These principles will aim to eliminate any confusion among consumers regarding food products derived from the cultured cells of animals, regardless of the species. FSIS will conduct enforcement actions as necessary to ensure that adulterated or misbranded human food products derived from cultured livestock and poultry cells do not enter or are removed from commerce. Information sharing will be a key aspect of FDA and FSIS cooperation in the oversight of products derived from the cultured cells of livestock and poultry. FDA will share with FSIS information collected during its oversight of cell collection and culturing, and FSIS will share information collected from its oversight of cell harvest, processing, and packaging. Specifically, FSIS will notify FDA if objectionable conditions are identified, including conditions which may have resulted in the production of adulterated or misbranded product. FSIS will work collaboratively with FDA to address such conditions with respect to harvesting and rely on FDA to address such conditions with respect to pre-harvest activities. Both agencies will use this information to ensure that these products are safe, unadulterated, and properly labeled. A recurring theme of this presentation is that FDA and FSIS will be working together on oversight of this new food production technology, as we already do in many areas of food safety, both at headquarters and in the field. In particular, we'll be developing a detailed framework for shared oversight at harvest so that handoff is efficient and provides necessary information. We'll be developing coordinated principles for product labeling and claims to ensure a coherent approach across products made with animal cell culture technology. And as always, we'll work together to investigate food safety issues if they arise. My name is Dr. Ciro Ruiz Feria. I am an animal scientist at the United States Food and Drug Administration's Center for Veterinary Medicine. As mentioned early on, CVM will be overseeing all uses of culture animal cells intended for animal food. This is consistent with CVM's current oversight of animal food and ingredients added to feed, including pet food. CVM works closely with CEPSAN on many issues and will do so here as well. We encourage firms interested in developing animal foods comprised of or containing cultured animal cells from any species to contact us early and often. In our view, both regulators and regulated industry benefit from engagement with federal regulators early and often. The agencies benefit from a more detailed and informed view of the range of technical implementations of this new food production technology, which will enhance our ability to provide effective and efficient oversight. Firms benefit from a better understanding of the regulatory expectations and requirements this allows them to make informed decisions about technical and market strategies in this rapidly evolving sector of the food industry. Any firm can reach out to contact FDA and FSIS and begin discussions at any time, and we encourage you to do so. Here are a number of additional resources specific to animal cell culture technology from both FDA and FSIS. This is a rapidly evolving area, and we encourage anyone interested in developing this technology for food use to contact FDA and FSIS directly to engage in discussion. Thank you for listening to this presentation today.